Welcome to the Builder Joomla website video tutorials. This is lesson one of The Basics, a free course designed to teach you the theory of Joomla version 3 in under two hours. By the end of the course, you will have learned everything you need to know to build your very own Joomla powered website. There are 16 lessons in total, but you don't need to watch all of them as I'll explain as we go along. The topics for this first lesson are how this course works, what is Joomla, the benefits of using a content management system, what can you do with Joomla, and Joomla versions. My name is Richard Pearce and I've been helping beginners get started with Joomla since 2008. You might have seen other how to get started with Joomla in one hour courses, but this one is the original. This course, including previous versions, has been watched by literally tens of thousands of people. At the time of recording, my YouTube channel has over 1.7 million views. I'm not telling you this to boast, uh, okay, well, maybe just a little, but I do want to assure you that you're in the right place. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this is the course that will help you wrap your mind around the core Joomla concepts. I do ask though that you watch the entire course, with the exception of some installation lessons, as I'll explain when we get to that section. You see, the problem with most online Joomla training is that you learn a little bit here and a bit there, only to get frustrated when things don't turn out right. This course has been carefully designed to build on each concept, so you get an excellent foundation of Joomla from the start. Learning properly now costs you less time in the long run. These videos have been recorded in high definition, and although I zoom in from time to time, it's best to watch at full screen. To do this, look for the full screen icon in your video player, which is usually found at the bottom right of the video window. To return to normal, press the escape key on the top left of your keyboard. This course is called The Basics, and it's divided into three sections. Although I teach at a basic level throughout the course, the first section is especially useful for absolute beginners. In this I cover what Joomla is, how it compares to other solutions, and what you need to make it work. If you're already convinced that Joomla is for you, and you understand basics such as how to use FTP software and how to extract zip file contents, you might prefer to start by learning how to install Joomla, which commences at Lesson 4. Or, if you already have a Joomla website, and just need to learn how to use it, start at Lesson 7. I mostly use slides in this first section, however the lessons in Sections 2 and 3 are full motion video demonstrations, so you'll learn what to do step by step. There is also a free accompanying workbook to the course. Depending on where you're watching this, you'll find a link to the workbook underneath this video, or wherever the host of this course provides their exercise files. If you don't see it, head over to www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and look under the Tutorials menu for the basics. Keep watching now though, as I'll remind you to get it at the end of this lesson. So then, what exactly is Joomla? Joomla is a website content management system that allows you to build and maintain a website. This is done via a web browser so you don't need any special software, and you can use a PC, Mac, or Linux. You can download Joomla for free and use it to build as many websites as you like. You don't have to pay to get a better version. The entire Joomla core, which allows you to create a fully functional website, is free. You do not have to include any Joomla branding on your website, so a Joomla website looks just like any other website. A standard Joomla installation might be all you need for a basic website, but the real power of Joomla comes from the thousands of third-party extensions that are available. These provide additional functionality such as feedback forms, e-commerce, photo galleries, membership sites, location maps, calendars, banner ads, and much more. Many of these extensions are also free, but some are commercial and need to be purchased. Extensions are discussed in Lesson 15. 
there are two parts to a Joomla powered website. The front end is the collection of finished web pages. And the back end is where the page contents and other functionality is created and managed. The Joomla back end is usually referred to as the administrator, and that's the term that's used throughout this training. There are four requirements to build a Joomla website. One, a basic understanding of how websites work. For example, you should know that websites are comprised of web pages. Web pages tend to include a navigation menu with items linked to other web pages, and web pages can include various elements such as text, images, hyperlinked text, audio and video. Two, an understanding of how Joomla works, which is of course where these tutorials come in. Three, the Joomla software, and part of this course demonstrates how to download and install it. And four, an account with a web host, which is an organisation responsible for storing your website and making it accessible to others on the internet. Now let's take a look at the type of sites you can build using Joomla. Simple sites. On its own, Joomla is great for creating simple sites with pages of text and images. Specialist sites. Thanks to extensions, Joomla websites are used to power e-commerce sites, membership sites, forums, magazine sites, blogs and many other uses. Custom applications. If you need to develop some functionality that goes beyond the standard features of Joomla and no extension exists that does the job, then you can create a custom application. As the Joomla framework is open source, web programmers can modify the existing functionality and add new functionality. Another aspect to consider is the look of your website. Content management systems such as Joomla use one or more files called templates to display the pages. There are free and commercial ready-made templates available. Or you can design and code your own template if you have those skills. Developing a website with Joomla does not mean that you're in some way restricted to a particular design or layout. You can create any design you like and fit it into the Joomla structure. In the early days of content management systems, the layouts tended to be similar. But just about anything is possible now, as you'll see from the variety of designs implemented in the following examples of Joomla powered websites. As you can see, Joomla is perfect for all types of websites, including individual sites, non-profit sites, business, government, and even enterprise sites. As mentioned before, Joomla is a content management system, which I'll now refer to as a CMS. Traditionally, websites were built using software on a local computer and then moved to a web host. CMS-powered websites tend to be built and maintained directly at the web host. This provides several benefits, including The website is easy to update. You just connect to your website management section using a standard web browser, which is a tool that you're already familiar with, so you don't need to learn a new interface. The site can be updated from anywhere in the world. No installed software is necessary. With a traditional website, you need to make updates using software located on your computer. A CMS-powered site allows you to update content from any internet connection. 
more than one person can update the site. Although some traditional website construction tools support multiple users, it's generally much easier to maintain and assign individual permissions using a CMS. Design changes are easy. This is one of the most powerful aspects of using a CMS. If you wish to make a design change across all your pages, all you have to do is make one change to your template and the change is reflected throughout your entire site. There's no need to pay someone to keep the site updated. Website maintenance can cost a fortune. And you control when the site is updated. As you have full control over the updates, you don't have to wait for your developer to make changes. The version numbering for Joomla changed recently, and if you look back over previous numbering, it can get pretty confusing. So instead, let's start from where we are and look at the typical life cycle of a Joomla version. When a new major version of Joomla is released, it gets a new number, and right now we're up to version 3. A new minor version is released every six months, so to differentiate between these versions, a second number is included after a dot. So, the first release in version 3 is actually 3.0. Six months after that came version 3.1, a further six months saw version 3.2. The final version in this series is 3.5. The thinking behind this numbering is that the 0.5 version is considered the most mature and therefore the most stable version in the series. This version continues to receive security updates and bug patches for two years after its release date. The 0.5 version is referred to as having long-term support. Six months after the 0.5 version's release comes the next major version, which will be Joomla 4. Like other software, bugs and security issues emerge, and so additional versions are released as necessary. These releases get a further number added to them, so the version might become 3.0.1, and then the next one is 3.0.2, and continues until the next minor version is released, or in the case of a 0.5 version, until long-term support ceases. What does this mean for you? Well, in theory, you're supposed to stick with the 0.5 version as this offers the most stable experience. At time of recording, Joomla 3.2 is the current version, so that means starting with Joomla 2.5. In practice though, I'm finding that most people jump to the new version pretty quickly, particularly if building a new site. If your site requires extensions, as most do, you need to ensure that those extensions are compatible with your version of Joomla. This is discussed more in Lesson 15. So, right now, as long as your required extensions are available, Joomla 3 is the way to go. The principles of Joomla are relatively constant and you'll be able to follow along with this course regardless of which version you're using. That concludes the first lesson which covered how this course works, what is Joomla, the benefits of using a content management system, what you can do with Joomla, and Joomla versions. The next lesson discusses why you should choose Joomla over other open source content management systems. To get the most from this course, I recommend you watch each lesson in its entirety and then do some exercises. I mentioned earlier that there is a workbook for this course, so now is the time to download it. Depending on where you're watching this course, you'll either find a link to the workbook below this video, or possibly there is a section of the site that contains exercise files. If all else fails, you can get it by going to www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and navigating to Tutorials – The Basics. Grab that now and I'll see you in the next lesson.